Japan, a highly dynamic culture. It creates multiple forms of interactions in arts, technologies and institutions. But Japan doesn't play the major role it deserves in discussions on global art histories. We put the pressing concern into question how global globalizing art history should or could be. From the 22nd to the 24th of October 2015, the Institute of East Asian Art History at Heidelberg University held the symposium Histories of Japanese Art and Their Global Contexts – New Directions. Among others, it was sponsored by the Ishibashi Foundation. Dr. Christine Guth from the Royal College of Art and Design in London gave the keynote speech Hybridity and the Global Turn in Japanese Art History. She revisited the terms hybrid and hybridity and applied them for her analysis of three truly global objects created in the 16th and 17th centuries. Dr. Guth followed the trade routes and technology exchanges between Japan, China and India. The second keynote was given by Professor Timon Screech from Soas University in London. He elucidated the various ways in which the Tokugawa shogunate constructed their new capital in Edo by focusing on a global interpretation of Nihonbashi. Departing from traditional city planning in East Asia, the Nihonbashi bridge marked a center of the new city. Nihonbashi, at the foot of the shogun's residence, was the heart of Edo period Japan and the starting point to all highways spreading the country. On the website you can watch both keynotes and gain insights into the program of the symposium Histories of Japanese Art and Their Global Contexts – New Directions, organized at Heidelberg University.